Reunions are a staple for every season of the challenge. Everyone reunites to talk about all the season's events, conflicts, and results. They always bring out the best or the worst in competitors, but the fights are by far what everyone looks forward to in these reunion shows. They all dress up really nicely for the event, like for example, it's the only time you will ever see Hunter without a hat on. Also, sometimes a host of the reunion won't even know where the heck he is. Like he's low key with it. What did Michael Jordan do during every game? I don't know. You're killing me. <laughs> These are only just a few small examples of what makes reunions so great. Wait till you all see what I have in store for you in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the money and run, Teach. This is the game! Hey guys, what's up? It's Circuit Revolution back with another video. And today I will be ranking the top 10 best reunions the challenge has ever seen. I will be doing a deep dive into them, including the funniest moments, the best and worst characters, and finally, I will say who the best and worst dressed are because I have amazing fashion sense. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to be doing one honorable mention, and you can even say this is a dishonorable mention of sorts. I love messiness, but this reunion was almost unwatchably messy. It is a reunion from Rivals 2. In this reunion, they attempted to do it live, and let's just say they never attempted it again after this. The cast, namely CT, was barely answering questions which led the host Johnny Mosley not knowing what to say at times and CT just being ruthless to him. You can actually see around the middle of the reunion Johnny Mosley just knowing that this is a disaster. You guys were just discussing how this was going to be choreographed during the break. <laughs> so am I going to kiss you? Or no, it wasn't funny. Yeah. Mind your business. Don't try to be all condescending on me right now. I'm a dump on you right now, bro. So you ask me a question, I try to answer it, and then you want to try to be all, man, I will well, love you. Who's well. in the hot seat now? What's up? <laughs> nah, we're live. <laughs> Nothing you can do about easy. it. The cast was just not cooperative, and the biggest example of that is Knight just slapping Frank. They really wasted a potentially crazy reunion doing it live, and whoever's idea it was probably got fired unfortunately. The worst dress in this reunion is Johnny Bananas, but not because of his clothes, it's because of his hair. I don't want to be mean, but who told him that was a good idea? The best dress would probably be Jemmy and Knight, which is kind of ironic. I got a crush on him a little bit. He has the biggest crush on me. That's why he calls me at night and I block him. His voicemail still sounds sweet. <laughs> at number 10, I have to go with The Island. This screwed up and messy season had an even more screwed up and messy reunion. Everyone was at each other's throats and no one held back. The Island is one of the hardest to watch seasons in challenge history and that carried over well into the reunion. The way some of the guys acted, namely Kenny, was awful. He said some bad stuff at this reunion, but everyone actually fought him back, and the comebacks they gave to him were actually funny. Paula was still very upset over her betrayal, and Bananas didn't apologize, but Kenny surprisingly did. But still, Paula was a huge staple in this reunion, and along with Evelyn, Evelyn just came off very well and charming. But the biggest standout in this reunion was by far Kellyanne. I don't want to make any allegations or anything, but I think she might have been intoxicated during this reunion. The way she would get up every five minutes to try to fight Kenny was hilarious and she was slurring her words a bit. Also her relationship with Wes was outed in this reunion. Are you seeing anybody else? Yes. No. That we know? Yes. I'm not talking about it. What's the opposite of East? Oh. Oh. Wes. For the worst dressed, I got bananas again. Who told him a half goatee would be a good idea? Like really, I am asking. And best dressed is hard to tell. I really can't see everyone's clothes, especially in the back. So I will give the best dressed award to everyone but Johnny. Next at number 9, we have Battle of the Bloodlines. And I see a lot of mixed opinions on this reunion. Some think it was just 40 minutes of slandering Cara Maria for cheating on Abram. And while I see that a little bit, I do not think that this was all the reunion had. I think this reunion provided much needed insight into the season's decisions and politics. It really brought some new light into how the game was played this season that no one would have really known otherwise. A huge staple for me in this reunion was the host Nessa. I love when Nessa hosts the reunions. She would actually challenge the competitors, and if she felt that you weren't being genuine, she would say that. I love that because for a show like The Challenge, you sometimes need to argue with them to get the truth or best answers. 
I just it had to do with the game. Though. I just did. Let her finish, man. Yeah. Just let her finish one Let's time. Try. But you guys are good now. Yeah. Oh, okay, debatable. Another big staple of this reunion was Abram. Because honestly, the way he handled the Car and Maria situation was better than anyone was expecting. Well, it was much improved from the after show appearance he did earlier. Do you understand me? I will do this all day long. Take your hands off me. For some reason, my eyes were just glued to this reunion and I really enjoyed it. It's for sure one of my favorite reunions. But now for worst dressed, no one was really badly dressed. So I guess Abram because out of everyone, he didn't dress up at all. And for best dressed, I think it has to go to Nani and Nicole. At number 8, we have Battle of the X's 2. This reunion was a ball of fire in my opinion because everyone was just angry during it. No one really felt content with the season in my opinion so everyone kind of lashed out and it made for a great reunion. Bananas and Sarah obviously went at it with the same old thing about how Sarah played such a scummy game move and Bananas was a hypocrite for the 100th time. I feel like in this reunion though, we got a lot of closure on the season's events like a good ending to the season and it just felt finished afterwards. My favorite part of this reunion was how everyone was crapping on Jay. It might have been a little mean at times but come on if you can't get past leg one of the final what do you expect? He was in way over his head. You don't belong in the final. Whenever and you want to go heads up bro you let me know. Get that. the f out of here. You don't listen, scare listen. me. Don't, Who's trying to easy don't tough guy? Me. Certain people are not cut out for this show. He my friend are none of those people. The best dressed in this reunion is surprisingly bananas. It wasn't fancy clothes or anything, but he wore a touching and very nice tribute shirt for DM and it was very nice to see. The worst dress is either Jay or Zach due to his pit stains. At number 7, we have Fresh Meat 2. This reunion was pretty much the pinnacle of the Kenny and Wes rivalry, which is one of, if not the biggest rivalry in challenge history. And they went at it at this reunion. The host Maria Menounos even called them the two biggest bitches at the reunion and that was crazy. This season, just like every other season, the two biggest bitches were Wes and Kenny. I gotta be honest, the Wes vs Kenny fight at this reunion was really funny, especially Kenny confessing that he wanted to be famous. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I'm gonna kick your ass now. That he has done to me that has been not like a man. You weasel piece of sh I'll beat your ass right here. You throw the first punch, I'll let you throw the first five. After that, be prepared for me to kick your d in. <laughs> Dying to be famous is him. Why'd you, you come on? Because I you want to make everybody, oh, hey, redheads are okay. Do Will you, you two shut just... the f up, please? This reunion has some crazy moments as well, including Pete and Jen coming out as a couple, Laurel literally biting Carly's head off for winning the final. You're saying, I can't do anything, I'm nothing. Like... Those are true. And finally, Mandy screaming at Wes for giving up in the exile. Honestly, this season's reunion was near perfect. The best dressed is pretty much all of them. They all dressed up nice, but the worst dressed is Kenny. Suck yeah. Number 6 is The Gauntlet 2. This reunion had so many iconic moments. It really did. It might be, in my opinion, the start of the really classic reunions that we all came to love. There were reunions before this, but they all felt a little bit different. TJ Lavin rarely appears on reunions, and he made an amazing appearance on this one to show one of my favorite reunions moments of all time, TJ fighting Cyrus. That in itself was just crazy. But yelling at me, what? You heard me? No, you don't want to do that with me, man. Since he ain't here, I probably would have won. This reunion really had nothing to dislike. It really was an almost perfect reunion, but unfortunately it was only 20 minutes long like most old reunions were. The best dressed would have had to be Beth because her hand cast was very, very fashionable. And the worst dressed is Brad. At least I think it's Brad. I can't really tell with his eyes covered by his hat. I also want to mention Mark giving his bandana to Derek after retiring for the first time time out of 40, which is just an iconic moment in challenge history. Number 5 is going to be Rivals 1. This is the most normal reunion, but it also might be the most relaxing to watch, which can be a very good thing. Everyone was fairly calm in this reunion, except for Jen, of course. Shut the f*** up, Laurel! No one gives a f*** about what you have to say! Maria Menounos did a fantastic job, as always, at hosting these reunions, 
and was as ruthless as always. You need some more airtime. You didn't get any. Get any because you weren't winning. Oh. Oh. I think if I could only watch one reunion forever, it would be this one. Because, like I said, there was absolutely nothing not to like. In fact, if you don't like this reunion, you probably won't like reunions in general. Everything about this reunion was entertaining and funny, and honestly, every single person stood out and got a chance to speak their piece about the season. Were you really that cool when Mike gave up? Yeah. <laughs> what they don't show is I gave up a while ago. Yeah. The best dress this reunion has to go to Laurel's hair, and the worst dress has to go to Kenny's sucky ass shirt again. At number 4, we have Rivals 3. The first 10 minutes of this reunion are probably the best in challenge history. The blow up of Bananas and Sarah after Bananas took all the money was insane to watch. I really have never seen Sarah so angry and emotional during the show and she had a complete right to be. You just can't help but feel bad for her in this situation. Sarah, is there anything that Bananas can say to make this right? You can write her a check. It was pretty hard to watch, but at the same time it was impossible not to watch. The most shocking moment for me was when Wes sided with Bananas in the whole situation. That was a big first. In this situation I 100% side with him. What? But really, this reunion had a lot to like. It did slow down after the Bananas and Sarah blow up, but some of the new elements like awards and Bananas interviewing people on the streets were nice additions. Best dressed will go to Devin since it looks like he just got out of a job interview as a magician's assistant. And worst dressed is just everybody else. Number 3 is Vendettas. Vendettas is the start of when, in my opinion, the reunion started to become more trashy. But I like that for reunions. I think reunions need trashiness. This reunion was quite the show and I loved every second of it. Everyone was just angry and screaming and it was enticing to watch. Some of my favorite moments are Britney vs. Marie and for sure Brad vs. Zach. Zach, why did you say Brad is going through a midlife crisis? Because in my opinion, he is. I also really don't understand why everyone was coming so hard for Cara Maria in this reunion. They were all being pretty mean to her and I really didn't get it. Devin vs. Bananas was probably the funniest moment of this reunion honestly. The way Bananas would try to insult Devin and Devin would just laugh at him was very funny. We go into an elimination. This is the guy we want to go against. How'd He's, that work out for you? Tony <laughs> traded in a challenge legend for a poor man West. That beat their out of you in a puzzle. The best dressed would probably have to be Nicole, but I think she used one of her clones for this one. Worst dressed has to be nobody because everyone actually dressed nice. The runner up is Cutthroat, and I think everyone thinks this reunion is a classic. Everyone was a complete mess here, especially Paula and Laurel when they completely blindsided her by having Big Easy come out to confront her. That was dirty, but incredible to watch. Definitely a top 3 reunion moment. Johnny and Tyler obviously had arguments about the backpack, but actually I think Johnny got into an argument with literally everyone in this reunion besides his team. This reunion was just so fun and so intense. Maria Menounos actually even yelled at a contestant, which I love when hosts do that. Tyler, it's not your call to the show's a reunion. Talk about what went on. And please, just give us a minute. I'm saying accept her apology. Let she her get it! Am I crazy? They're all saying the same thing. Marie and Johnny also flirted a bit in this reunion, which I always find odd. You show your butt a lot. Is that calculated? The boxer just... F I can't hide this. You do have a nice butt. Why, well, thank you. There's nothing to dislike whatsoever in this reunion. The best dressed and worst dressed are Abram at the same time. Because on one hand, what the heck? And on the other hand, what the heck. I just want to give another quick honorable mention to War of the Worlds 1. This is another reunion that no one can really not like. It brought entertainment out of every single person and some in weird ways. Like for example, Polly and Ashley fighting over who is taller. I found this reunion to be a very satisfying ending to War of the Worlds 1 and just plain and simple great to watch. Worst dressed is whatever Polly is wearing and best dressed is I honestly I don't know. And finally at number one my personal favorite reunion Final Reckoning. This reunion was just perfect. 
amazing fights, amazing banter, and very funny moments. Honestly, Dolph Ziggler might be the best host that the challenge reunions have ever seen. Final Reckoning was one of the most dramatic seasons of all time, and this reunion was even more dramatic. After Ashley took all the money from Hunter, the argument they had in this reunion was phenomenal to watch. And to top it all off, Ashley pulled a dollar bill out of her bra and gave it to Hunter. Ashley was a complete star at this reunion. This reunion also had the most screaming matches ever, but I loved that. Devin probably had the most remembered moment of the reunion trying to fight bananas. Do something. I dare you! I dare you! I dare you! My personal favorite moment though is when Polly and Kyle were fighting and Kyle says to Polly that he's more in love with him than Cara Maria. Polly then replies with, I just want to put my hands on you. I feel like Polly's more in love with me than he is with Cara. I just want to put my hands on you. In what world does saying that as a response make you tough? It was just hilarious. To end this perfect reunion, we had a great proposal from Tony. Worst dressed in this reunion again was Polly, and the best dressed was Zach's mustache. I love this reunion, and I've rewatched it more times than I can count. Whew, what a video. I was trying to be a little more mean in this video. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at RookieRevo. Links in the description. Make sure you hit the bell icon icon so you never miss an upload and I have a bunch coming so stay tuned. Thank you all for watching again and until next time take care.